much coming at you that we don't really have time to dwell on the side stories. Maybe our families, uh, people that we're connected to, they probably think about it more than we do. We're just locked into the moment. I thought Zay played exactly how he did Saturday, but he, exactly how he played last Wednesday and the Saturday before that. So this is how he's been performing for, for a while now. It was a coincidental, obviously, the way that he played tonight and, you know, with the relationship in the team and how valuable he was also, especially with, since Agile was just quiet in the first first half. He, he more than anything else, he came up with some big rebounds in traffic, and, and that's yeah. what Zay is capable of. We, we played him 25 minutes. I think that's the most minutes we've played since he's been back. We try to hold him at 20, 22. Uh, so th that's a lot of minutes for him to play, and, and, and he – he just made plays. His post-ups were huge. His rebounds were huge. He's just, he's evolving into a complete player. What's the update on Richardson right now? No idea. He's under concussion protocol, and I, I'm not that uh, versed in, in what's next. It, it's symptoms and, and how he feels and what the training staff says. I, I stay completely out of it, and Corey tells me who's ready and, and who can play and who can't guy like Carlos came off the bench and was really strong on the boards and in the post offensively. What did he bring to the game tonight? He brought more than he, he had a, a, a phenomenal line, 14 and 10 in 18 minutes. And more importantly was his protection at the rim. He went vertical and, and, and saved layup after layup when their guards were at the rim. And their guards live in the paint. So if you if you have a big guy that can change that many shots, as, as which Carlos and Sim did tonight, it saves baskets. And for us to hold that, a team that talented to 51 is a testament to the rim protection by our bigs. Yeah, Coach, you, it was just really eating your space on both sides of the court. Like, what was it about that? What was it that he was doing exactly with his size to really – bother La Tech the entire night. Well, the staff did a great job with the scout where we made the conscious decision that uh, we weren't going to guard their bigs on the perimeter. If they made one or two, we'll adjust, but we clogged up the paint because their wings are big, strong, and athletic, and, and they have a lot of success posting up smaller guards, which that's what we have right now. And so we were able to sit our five man in the paint, and he clogged it up, took away driving lanes, saved back cuts. Uh, and then was just waiting at the rim. So it, 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 it fit together, but the staff did a great job uh, with, with the scout. It's more surprising that you held them to 34.5 shooting and that you only shot 35.7. Rebounding. We, we're, we've done it all year. We have a very good rebounding team, even losing all our six, seven athletes. Uh, Jalen Ingram was an incredible offensive rebounder. Xavier, when he's healthy, is as good as there is. Jalen Sabree was turning the corner as an offensive rebounder. We've been an elite rebounding team, and now with, with all of our injuries, we're a pretty good rebounding team. Sim, Alex, Carlos, all those guys rebound well. Majal, and then obviously Zay from the wing spot, when he comes in and gets nine, that's huge. But we, we've been a great, uh, a really good rebounding team all year. Yeah, so uh, like with, without Ingram, like, what is it that this team's doing so so well? What's the identity with the team since Ingram's been out, obviously since he was your leading scorer, yeah. and he was just doing so many things, knocking down threes as well? What's the identity now with the team? Our identity has to be that we're the grimiest team and the most together team, and we have to find a different way to win each night because we're going to put two or three guys on the court, our reserves, that much like their center, they're not being guarded right now, and, and they're going to step up and make some shots as they get into game flow and game rhythm. But we have one or two guys on the floor that's not being guarded, so we just really have to manufacture points and figure out a way uh, to, to just grind it out and figure out a way to score. The free throw shooting was a big factor, too, in terms of, I think, they shot 80%. They shot 60, I didn't see the last right. numbers. But what does it mean to you? Obviously, they cut it down, I think, two or three, several times back and forth, but the composure of the team, they just not – we're fortunate that we, we got our good free throw shooters at the line. Mm -hmm. And and La Tech's been streaky shooting the ball all year. That's that's kind of been their Achilles heel. Um, and, and they shot pretty well from three, shot 35% on the road from three and made nine. That's uh, If you would have told me that going into the game, I, I would have said we're probably going to be in trouble. We need them to miss some threes. Yeah. Uh, they stepped up and knocked them down. But because we're able to rebound and, and all the second possessions, when you're, when you're defending a full clock and we weren't, been, we weren't able to score early, and then we get an offensive rebound and you have to defend another full clock. And then another clock, it's, it's deflating for your defense to be uh, on one side of the ball that long. And I thought, I thought we did a great job in the second half of just keeping possessions alive and coming up with those loose balls. A guy like Mike Forrest probably didn't shoot the line that he wanted to, but at the end of the game, through that defensive pressure, he seemed to really you know, stay calm and composed through all that. How, how was it to see his composure late in the game like that for a freshman like him to, to not turn over the ball and make any mistakes? 
defensively. He, he, he got tripped up a couple times, were probably his only mistakes. He, he was very sound defensively. He moves his feet, he stays in front of the ball. And then just for him to handle the double teams. They were double teaming our guards off of every ball screen. And fortunately, our posts were able to score when we got it down low. But the, the double teams definitely affected Ant and Mike. Now we have to counter that by getting it into the interior even more. Uh, but they did a good job of, of, once again, you go in, you see teams play so much, it's late in the season. You take away what they're really good at, and those guys have been really good at ball screens. And so now we have to adjust and be able to, to counter that a little bit better. When you get the ball down to Carlos in the post, he really seems to utilize the pump fake a lot. How does that affect the, the defense when they're playing against him, the team defense, just when there's you know, different guys, cutters, getting open and whatnot? When you're that big and, and, and just bigs have a tendency, if you can get them moving, if you can get them moving one direction or another, then they're going to oh, jump on any fake. And so we were able to get them moving or catch it when they're, they're helping on penetration. So if you can catch them and now they're closing back to you, you got them moving any ball fake. And, and our guys know they're not super explosive. So they know that if, if they catch a dump off, the, the more explosive athlete is coming to block it. So they're, 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 they're playing intelligent basketball and they were able to, to finish around the basket as well. Coach, you touched on it earlier, but what but like it was trying to slow down the guards, but what was it that you guys did specifically on Daquan Bracey that really slowed him down? Because he was our leading scorer coming into this game, and he, he just did not, was not able to get it going. As Archibald was definitely the one to be more effective today. Just with, with Bracey, we, we, we cut the floor in half on him, and, and we funneled him into our bigs, and they did a great job. He's, he's as good as there is at drawing fouls, and for us to keep him off the line, is, is a testament to our bigs and our guards just, just staying solid, showing their hands, and then meeting them at the rim instead of helping them.